Hello folks, John from Live and Learn Overland here. I thought I'd preface this video with a uh, monologue kind of explaining a little bit about what it's all about. Um, every year my wife and I take a two week vacation and uh, since 2017 when we built the Overland trailer it pretty much um, became the theme of doing some overlanding. Well, this particular year, uh, 2020, we uh, were going to go to Maine, visit with family for a week, and then go to northern Maine and uh, do about a week, week and a half of overlanding. But because of uh, the COVID in Maine, uh, they had a 14-day, a I believe, uh, quarantine. So we decided to head out west again. So on September 5th, with a mission of seeing Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana, uh, we headed west and we traveled through Georgia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Kansas, Colorado, Wyoming, Montana, South Dakota, Nebraska, Iowa, then started our return trip to Florida with a stop at uh, the Cherokee National Forest in Tennessee. 6,000 miles in a little over two weeks and loved every minute of it. What a beautiful country we live in. Uh, my wife put it best by saying we saw things we never even knew that uh, we needed to see. And uh, we uh, uh, got into Colorado and it was 90 degrees and uh, there was a big sign over I-70 that said winter storm warning and we kind of laughed thinking it's got to be a joke but lo and behold it was it was absolute they had a, a winter storm that night and uh, because of the freezing temperatures the slush the snow the sleet and uh, the salt the dirt on the roads uh, we decided to uh, check the maps and check the weather uh, forecast and get on the back side of the front although we knew it would be cooler uh, we also knew that uh, we'd have clear weather and we wouldn't be camping in the snow so having said that we headed up to Wyoming uh, which uh, brought us to uh, through the Grand Tetons we, we there's a lot of photos in there of the Grand Tetons just after you go through Jackson Hole and then uh, also some pictures uh, if you decide to go into the National Park, which we did. Uh, after leaving the Tetons, the Grand Tetons, we went north uh, into Yellowstone. And you'll see a few pictures of that um, and videos going through Yellowstone. And then from there, we headed on up to uh, Montana, which was my favorite part. Um, one of the campsites was in a place called Half Moon Campground, uh, just on the side of the Crazy Lady Mountains. Uh, we, you'll see pictures of us hiking a trail that went up uh, three miles up to a, a, a blue lake. That was the shorter trail, a uh, pretty rugged trail, not, not definitely not um, uh, for experts, but for, for beginners. Anyway, uh, what a fantastic trip. What a beautiful country we live in. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up um, and, and also subscribe. I uh, hope to see you out there somewhere on the trail. hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.
Wasn't that deer cool? That was one of the most awesome moments of the whole trip. You can't, uh, you can't even wish for that kind of stuff. And when it happens, it's just like unreal. That was a two thumbs up. Okay, so we've hiked probably about three miles, mostly uphill. And my thought was, because the, the couple we passed on the trail said, do you guys have bear spray? Well, we don't have bear spray, but I am armed with a nine millimeter. Uh, if that's a brown bear or a grizzly, forget it. But anyway, having said that, the way I feel right now climbing up this trail is if a bear comes towards me, bon appetit. That's all I gotta say. Love you, honey.